Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gaming Water Bottle YouTube channel. In the last episode, we went through Donut Plain, so next is Vanilla Dome. But we're not going to be going to Vanilla Dome, no. We're going to be going somewhere else. Still Donut Plain, because there are some things in Donut Plain that we didn't finish last time. First things first, you may notice that Donut Secret 2 I did not beat. But there is very easy ways to beat Donut Plains 2. It's just that I hate the birds. Now, thing is that I am currently living in the United Kingdom and it is absolutely boiling this summer. I am going to go places. Gaming Water Bottle does plan on going places. Maybe I'll go with my good friend Jerome, the sneaky snitch himself. But, you see, the thing is that I have very big fan, and I don't have it on because you would hear it, and I don't want you hearing it. Yes, viewers, I am making myself have possibility of heat stroke for you. I'm sure that my one current subscriber can say, Wow! Thank you, Gaming Water Bottle! You're so kind! And that is correct, I am. I've done so many nice things. However, first exit we will be finding in the stage will not be the normal one. Because we won't do this stage as intended yet again. As you can see, the dragon coin was right there, if you wanted to get that for whatever reason. They only give you extra life. Life ain't important in this game. So, as you can see, we can exit through the normal thing. So, I actually did lie about not getting normal exit first. Yes, getting top of flagpole is... No, not flagpole. It's not a flagpole. That hasn't been a thing since... Mario 2, the lost level. So what do we want to do to get the secret exit? Well, remember how in World 1 we found this yellow thing? It made these yellow blokes appear. Well, there's another one here, except it's not yellow. Yes, uh, this stage is mainly annoying because the birds are in annoying placements. And it's an auto scroller. And it has Bozy Beetle. Bozy Beetles? I don't even think were a thing in the normal playthroughs of Mario 1. Those were only introduced in the super hard campaign that you got after beating the game. So Chrono Trigger wasn't the first game with New Game Plus, actually. If you had the Green Switch Palace already, then that block right there would give you a Cape Feather. So jump over here. But you might see, why is this shell here, Gaming Water Bottle? Well, shell is very simple, and it's very nice. Remember how this is one game where you can throw upward? Yes. Well, if you carefully maneuver yourself across these platforms... BOOM! Secret exit! Now ain't that cool? Green Switch Palace is weird. Basically, what you want to do is you want to wait for these Koopa to get there. That wasn't what I wanted to do at all. Yes, that failed spectacularly. But at least it can't fail as spectacularly as marriages. Mario moonwalked through the pipe. What an absolute virgin versus Chad meme. Anyways, now we have the green switch palace. Now, the ooh will be turned into ah. So, that will be very nice. Uh, the red shell we had is unfortunately gone forever. 
Now, believe it or not, this conspicuous ghost house has another secret. A very neat secret. A another very neat sneaky snitch. Fly up here. And run. Yes. This is Mario Maker level design. Dev exit! Nintendo, I can't believe you'd stoop so low. I was trying to get a really cool boost. But if you get the top, then you do get an extra life. I think it was. This is top secret area. Get it? Because it's top secret. It's at the top of the donut plains. And to access it, we had to go through the top of the level. Oh, Nintendo, you're funny. But in top secret area, you will see that we have five boxes. We have two firefly, two cape feather, and in the middle, one Yoshi egg. This place can be used at any time in the entire game, as long as you're willing to walk back here. It's very convenient, very nice, and I like it very much. Now you might also remember that we didn't end up doing the Donut Secret House. Well, the Donut Secret House hides a very special secret. Even more gaming water bottle sibilance. So, this is a boo ring. These are commonly used in Mario Maker levels to piss everyone off when they play your shitty super world. I'm looking at you, Marcus Meldrew. So get spring. Boing. Like it's C-3. Go through door. Now there are ways to beat this stage. Of course there's that fire flower there. But that fire flower, as we all know, cape is best power up in Mario World. Hello ghost. Casper Friendly Ghost, Ghost Watch by BBC, that got banned. That's a shame. I watched it. I thought it was very good. Go through this door. Go backwards. Completely miss the p pole thingy. Now, for next stage, there will be very, very big spoiler. Pipe. Holy shit, it's Final World! No, this isn't the way that you access Final World in World 2, usually. But, uh... Yes. Because for some reason, this is where they chose to hide Donut Secret 2. I, I don't get it either, viewers. I don't understand it either. So, in this stage, you have Koopa! And Dragon Coin. It's like Bur Gear, but not as phony. I swear, I can usually get this stuff very consistent in my practice rounds. Now, you shouldn't worry too much about getting every Dragon Coin. Just keep spinning. Go through this pipe. We'll be taken to here. Oh no, not pea balloon again. Yes, you can actually control the pea balloon with your directional pad. The directional pad's nice. I like the directional pad. It's so good that they even kept it for modern man. So then you'll be dropped through here. You'll go on top of here. You'll jump over spinies. You'll find this jagged edge that somehow works better than jagged edge in Sonic 1. If you don't know what I mean, uh, that's your problem, not mine. And thus we've beaten Donut Secret to... 
This is sort of an alternative a bonus path if you can't figure out how ghost houses work. Except that doesn't make any sense because ghost houses are required to get there. However, there is one thing we didn't do in Donut Secret House. We didn't get Secret Exit. Yes, can you believe that was only the normal exit? Can you believe we're not done with Donut Plains yet? I can't, I didn't expect it would take this long. So, we still wait for Boo Ring. The boring Boo Ring. We still press on P switch. We still get spring. We still boiling. We still run through the door. It's very similar, very formula. Basically, in Ghost House, expect unexpected. Personally, I think it's one of the best additions that Mario World added. I mean, Mario World added a lot of additions that make me like it more than Mario 3. Mario 3 is still a wonderful game, but, you know. Anyways, hit P-Switch. Bop your head. Go through door. And holy shit, is it Bowser time? It's not Bowser time, it's boiling time. Just wait here. And fucking die! I didn't intend to do that, but that, that boss is usually very easy. So it's a good thing we got top secret area, isn't it? I hate secrets. I hate Monado. I don't, I think both are fine. Anyways, I hope someone gets fired for that blunder. Wait. Go. Gaming Water Bottle wants to sneeze, but Gaming Water Bottle cannot sneeze for sake of content. Gaming Water Bottle also has cold, which is weird because it's summer, and I'm very hygienic. Remember, no, no, Koro is still going on. Now, peace, switch. Oh, the P-Switch. Don't you like P-Switch? Did you know that P-Switches aren't actually meant to be fun? It means power. It's like the power leaf in Mario 3 that you got, which would allow you to fly forever, but using Tanuki Tail. Let's try this again, shall we? Who knew that ghosts could be such whores? Jump over. See, it's not really that difficult of a fight. I'm just an idiot. This is Star Road. Welcome to Star Road. We won't be doing this yet. However, this is a very cool place and very important if you want to do speedrunning. But, obviously, this isn't speedrun. This is just showing you everything game has to offer. So, now we have fully completed pretty much everything to my knowledge in Donut Plains. So in next video, we will be going to the Vanilla Dome and doing everything there is to see there. So, until next time, Gaming Water Bottle, wish you well. Have you ever noticed how uh, the water ends at certain points with the animation. It's very interesting why it does that. 
It's because the Super Nintendo is a limited hardware and thus it can't do that sort of thing. Except I'm sure it probably could if you use different things, but it's too complex, I'm not a programmer. I wish I was though, maybe then I wouldn't have failed all my computing class.